We are now joined by uh, our top seed in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup with four wins this season, Jimmy Johnson, driver of the number 48 Lowe's Chevrolet. Jimmy, talk a little bit about, obviously, you've been in this position before. Uh, nothing new to you, but tell us how you're feeling tonight uh, looking ahead to Chicago next week. Excited to get to the postseason and uh, honestly excited to get to the tracks that are within the, the chase. They're great race tracks for the 48 team. Um, you know, we've been, been able to kind of find some speed and some consistency here the last couple of weeks. It's been nice. Uh, definitely have not had the summer that we would have wanted to have. And uh, many of you know we've been in this position before um, through different years that we've been able to win the championship. So uh, I don't think it's, uh, you know, it's a true sign of, of where we're at. But uh, we certainly want to be better um, and looking forward to getting to, uh, to the tracks that um, we really perform at. Okay, we now are joined also by our second place finisher tonight, driver of the number 18 M&M's Crispy American Heritage Chocolate Toyota. That's a mouthful, Kyle. <laughs> That's how I roll. You that is exactly me? how you roll. Con yeah. Congratulations. You clinched last week at Darlington, but congratulations on making the chase. Obviously a uh, roller coaster season for you, but talk about your thoughts sitting here tonight at Richmond and looking ahead to Chicago as well. Yeah, it, uh, it certainly was a roller coaster season. Probably more for my team and my guys and everybody that uh, that started the season in Daytona, switching seats out, you know, to have other drivers in my in my car. But I uh, can't say enough about the team and the effort and Adam Stevens and everyone that uh, continued to focus and continue to work hard and and uh, wait for the star starting quarterback to uh, to come back, you know. But uh, one, once I did come back, you know, they were all ready and they were ready to perform and I uh, felt like we did a really good job of that, you know, maybe. Maybe the first month was a little rough, but um, after that, you know, once we got through Sonoma, it was, it was on. We had a really good stretch and still continue to, uh, to run strong each week. So uh, real proud of the effort of our M&M's Crispy team and, and everyone on this Toyota Camry. It uh, makes our job a whole lot easier week in, week out to have fast race cars. But, um, you know, it's just now to, to focus and, and put your head down to the dirt and, and make sure that uh, you get all you can get when you, when you go through these next ten. Also joining us is a newcomer to the group, Jamie McMurray, driver of the number one Cessna Chevrolet. Jamie, we, we had you hanging for a little bit last yep, week at Darlington. Very mean. It was, yep. it was, but you earned your, your earth stripes tonight by just starting the race. Congratulations on your first chase, and uh, tell us how you're feeling tonight, the thoughts and emotions that you're feeling sitting here with these two beside you. Well, I'm super relieved. I, um, I've been the guy on the outside trying to fight my way in, and, and I've also been in this a couple of times and, and been knocked out at Richmond. So it, uh, it's a much different night, much more laid-back weekend. I, um, I brought my family with, this me weekend, with me this weekend, so we kind of all enjoy it together. And little girl had a fever when she got here, and my little boy has a fever now. So it's been, uh, it's been raining with my wife and two kids on a bus. It's been a complete party on, uh, mm -hmm. on our side. Different than lawyer. <clears throat> It, uh, yeah, and I'm actually next to Boyer, but it's much different than what he has going on right now. Uh, but no, it's awesome. I, um, I'm i thrilled to get to be a, a part of it, and, and um, our team has been super consistent this year. It's been it's been, uh, it's been been great. I mean, Matt McCall uh, has done a, a phenomenal job coming in, being a, a rookie crew chief, and, and I'm super proud of him and, and our whole team. Yeah, I've done a nice job. Okay, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, we are very tight on time. We'll only be able to take a couple of questions for all three, so please raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. And uh, please make your questions short, and I'm sure these gentlemen will make their answers as quick and concise as possible. Any questions? We'll start with Jenna in the front. Kyle, um, what's it going to take for these other guys to have anything for JGR? Other guys who? The other guys who? Do, yeah, the, the ones who do not drive for JGR. Um, nothing. They look really good. They're fine where they're at, so keep digging. I mean, realistically, I, I don't know. I mean, we've just, uh, uh, I think our, as a group, a collective whole, you know, with the off-season restructuring of crew chiefs and having Carl Edwards come in and being able to have that fourth team, I think it just elevated our program to that next level. And, you know, we were, we were Joe Gibbs Racing was at two teams for a long, long time, and they were at three teams for a while. And uh, now this is our first year with four, and it just seemed to have clicked right off the bat. So that's all I can allude it to. Any other questions? Deb? Deb Williams, theracetoday.com. This is for Kyle. With what you've gone through this year, to get to this point and get into the chase, is it sweeter than it has been before? <laughs> um, I, I don't think it's any sweeter to make the chase than it has been in previous years. I just think the, you know, the way our, our team is running right now and, and the way that Joe Gibbs, has been, Joe Gibbs Racing has been showing some strength, 
uh, it certainly makes this chase a heck of a lot sweeter. You know, we, we all feel uh, like we've got a great opportunity or the best chance to be able to come out here and perform and, and uh, to make it to the final round and win a championship for Joe, you know. So um, I think that's probably the, the, the sweetest satisfaction of all of it is just going to each week and being at the racetrack and um, having fast cars to drive. We'll take a question from the press box, or probably our final one. We cannot hear you. Nope, I can't hear you, Ford. Now? Go ahead. Uh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. This one's for Jimmy. Um, you go into the chase as the number one seed. Why do you think no one's talking about your prospects for a seventh championship, and are you content to fly beneath the radar? No. <laughs> I was supposed to give a yes or no answer, so that was... Um, uh, well, truth be told, we haven't run like we should over the summer months, so that's why we're not in the conversation. But uh, we've been here before. Final 10 races are good for us, um, good tracks. And uh, I think in some scenarios, this championship battle is a bit more forgiving. If we were consistent through the first nine and give ourselves a chance to be in the final four, uh, you know, we've got 10 more weeks to get our stuff straightened out and uh, find the speed that we need. But I don't think we're in too bad a shape. Um, that four car is running our equipment and has been up front a bunch. So we just got to make a better mousetrap with our, uh, our race cars, and uh, we're work working hard to get there. Gentlemen, I need to get you to your post-race party. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Congratulations. See you in Chicago. Thank you very much.